112 million years ago, we can witness the real life of Spinosaurus. A large Numidian sawfish was feeding in the river. The moment it saw a Spinosaurus appear in the water, it quickly turned away, because it was one of Spinosaurus's favorite prey. The amphibious nature of Spinosaurus shaped its unique body structure. This special design helped them hunt effectively in the water. But during seasonal changes, the river's water level dropped rapidly. Food in the freshwater system became scarce. To ensure the young ones could grow up healthy, these massive predators decided to lead their group toward the abundant ocean. Flocks of pterosaurs, unaffected by terrain, often followed the Spinosaurus herd, because they had no teeth and survived by feeding on carrion. This scavenging habit drove them to follow large predators. The water-skilled Spinosaurus always migrated along rivers, since their energy source came entirely from aquatic fish. A giant weighing up to 7.5 tons supported its massive body with only two legs. Only by obtaining enough food could it keep moving day and night toward the sea. With the buoyancy of the river supporting them, these heavy creatures could swim downstream with ease. At this time, heavy rain caused the river to rise dramatically. This was exactly what adult Spinosauruses hoped for, so they sped up their journey. Even the young Spinosauruses were practicing their swimming skills, and this body of water was nothing short of a paradise for them. The rising water allowed the adults to dive freely for prey. They had crocodile-like heads and paddle-shaped limbs, and a tail shaped like a fin, which meant they were giants highly adapted to aquatic life. Along this river also lived land-dwelling Carcharodontosaurs. The young Carcharodontosaurs had never seen a dinosaur with a sail on its back. This made them extremely curious. They rushed to the riverbank to watch the Spinosauruses in the water. And the young Spinosauruses, who had never seen Carcharodontosaurs either, curiously surfaced and stared back at them. Spinosaurus was among the most protective dinosaurs toward its young. It would never allow its offspring to be harmed. But the inexperienced young Carcharodontosaurs weren't afraid of the adults at all. Their behavior triggered the Spinosaurus's predatory instincts. Luckily, the adult Carcharodontosaurus arrived just in time. Facing two rivals of similar size, the Spinosaurus eventually chose to back off. Soon after, the Spinosaurus herd finally reached the long-desired ocean, beginning a new life filled with abundance. 